Hello everyone. Supersonic blue hair. Welcome back to another Ark um, Crystal Isles episode here with Chelsea. So today what we're doing is we're going to be continuing on with our exploration. So we're, look, we're heading into this area where we're straight ahead of. It kind of looks like an under, a sort of de undead area. So in the last episode we went around those floating islands just over there. Um, and we ended up fighting some ginormous crabs at the end, which was, um, or spiders, or whatever they were classed as. I don't know what they were classed as. I think they were crabs, if I'm honest. Um, but, um, it was interesting. They're the only, they they're the only area I've seen those spawning, so they might be special to that area, because I was wandering. Because it was getting pretty barren around there, so I was wandering what there was to spawn around there but basically if I can tame those um, if they're, they're tameable them crabs I will build on the, these islands probably build on that one I've, that just dropped off because the crabs were on that island right there um, I would really be I'd be surprised if you could if you could breed them I guess I don't see it What's that down there? That's piqued my curiosity. Is it just a shadow from the tree? I think it's a shadow from that tree. But now, obviously we're not on islands anymore, so we're going to be flying relatively low. <gasps> Hello, beaver dams. Okay, we found our very first beaver dam. I don't know how many there are. There's beavers f swimming about. Well, I won't be coming back here for a bit, so... Grab the cemented paste and leave. Leave. Oh, God! Another Kazel up there. I think that might be another beaver dam right there. Or is it just a rock? No. Oh, let's be build all the way down here. I don't think I've seen that before. Unless it's usually flying and I've just never... Okay, it's a, uh... Yep, not seen one of those before. Okay. It's just a really, really small, but... Oh, it's the beavers. I was like, what's that now? I didn't want to turn around just in case anything big was coming for me. When I realised, when I heard the noise, I was like, oh, it's just them um, pissed off me, he was chasing me. <laughs> They're quick. Parasaur. Oh, hello, what are you? Iguanodon. With a loss of thought, so. Okay, this, this, this area might be, I'll probably build on this area, them. You're a quick little beaver. You're a level 85, that's why. So there's an iguanodon. So that's a that's a new. I don't think I've seen them about. I've, I've I only recognise the name because I've got a load of saddles for it. In fact, what saddles are this? Dunkelsaurus. I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen a Dunkelsaurus yet, unless that's a fish. So, but yeah, I think I'm gonna be building down here, as evidence would show. Still not chasing me. I was just seeing if it was chasing me, that beaver still. It's not.
You see, I could build... It depends on what it's like round here. With the possibility of building Tracy Island round there. That's... No, it's a terrain. I don't know if I was a scorpion. It, off from the distance I did anyway. Some big shrooms. Oh! Oh, it's the terrain run. I just scared it. Nope, we're just rocks. I thought that because of the way they were shaped, because of how the water was, it did look like a snake. Some big shrooms. I think it paused then because we were going, we did just enter a brand new area. Right, so this area is completely undead by the looks of it, so I'm expecting some unique animals in this area. Right. Even though I didn't see so that animal, that lot smaller one, you can find the deserts. Even though I didn't find any in the what like the electrical fields, I reckon there will be a unique. Uh, dino in there. It's just that it was that cold and it was nearly it kept nearly killing me. I just like didn't really explore as thoroughly as I wanted to. But it's just the way it is. I'm sort of doing the outskirts at the moment. Just gonna head in land a little bit. But yeah, this is a cool area. It's one of those. It's a couple of them. Every time I hear a loud, loud footsteps, I'm like, "What's around?" Because it could be a, uh, it could be a gigger, it could be a. Um, let me land down here. It could be a Titanosaurus. Again, I've only seen one. Titanosaurus. That's just something to bear in mind. Run down down there. That's a trike. Have I not actually tamed one of those yet? It is very weird. But there's a lot of all I can, all I can already see. There's a lot of species of dino in the area. So this is obviously going to be a place to build. It'd be worse to build. It's very. Well, it's like a rainforest by all minute, so... Obviously, most of these areas we just have a quick flyover. Um, well... 
if one's possible to do that anyway. What's that over there? It's as a flower. There's another couple over there. Let's gain some altitude just in case. There they are, the big flowers. I think they're trying to do the representation of them ones that blue light ones every 12 years. Some couple more there. Yeah, there we are. That's another dino. It's eating. It's a... Um... I can't remember what they're called. Well, not the brontosaurus, they're the smaller ones. So what looked like an undead thing was an actual um, rainforest one. I like these really tall light mushrooms that just look like... Because I, when I was looking across then it, it generally I thought it was like... Like ruins. Just rest up here. Covered most of the rainforest now. So obviously some explorations are going to take longer than others. Is that another? I think that's a carnosaur actually. Yeah, it's a carnosaur. Look at the. Uh, can't remember what those are called, but that's. I've seen them, like, dotted about. There's a stego over the parasaur right there. Need to, like I said, I need to start taming some of the uncommon ones. So basically, the ones that I will be taming in videos are ones that are going to be either long tames that's that longer or need unique items to tame so there's one animal I think it's the spider and you have to feed it spoiled meat for example then there's other creatures that require like rare flowers and things it's weird but until I find what creature um, I won't be uh, doing them. Oh, yeah, this is a really, really, this is a really nice biome. So I've just entered, so we'll just keep going across. So there's another. That might be a baryonyx. There's a few baryonyxes there. So basically, those are recommended to go into caves with. I want to see if I can find any closer to my base though. There's a frog down there, but there's frogs near me. More stegos. Um... Basically, I'm gonna duck in around here. Where well, this, the mouth of this uh, lake is. So I'm going to land. Don't land in the water.
Mm, this is a nice little area I could probably... I've not got a raptor yet. I'm just right here on this cove. This might be a nice little area to build a camp on. I've got this little lake here. See what's up here. in this area. Yeah, there's some unique um, areas. Here. More parasaurs. There's not really any larger dinosaurs, which is what I like. Biggest thing I've seen is a, is a carnosaur. I mean, like, predator-wise. So the trikes the uh, Is them saber tooth pig things? Oh, what my what did I fly into? <laughs> A mountain, that's what I fly that flew into. This is a nice unique area. Ooh, it's not neat. It's another Sarko. Another Sarko. Baryonyx. Baryonyx is for days round here. There's a frog there. I'm just going to land. Baryonyx fighting a Sarko. There's a little frog there. All the way up here. Get a so you know exactly where you're going. I don't know if my phone went off there or if it was the actual game. I just heard buzzing, and I don't know what it was. <laughs> I think this is pretty much all the forest biome looked at. It's very deep, cavernous. Next and the f and the final area is going to be that autumny looking area. Let's get in this area right here.
Ooh, we're gonna need to land in a second. I'm aiming for this over here. Please land, thank you. Just over there. Because then at least we've got all the exploration out of the way. And then we can just focus on the buildings and taming and going to caves and things. Obviously, I'll probably end up doing the animals and the caves in the area we're currently in first and then move on to another area. I think what I have noticed is there's not very much metal. Because really these rocks just sort of look they look like rock well they're not metal nodes by the looks of it. But I have not noticed much metal. Which might be a problem here. Oh It is what it is. Yes, I think we're coming up towards the end of the um So the waterfall. Go deep into the abyss there. Who are these flyers that I can't remember the name of? No, we're not pterodons, you can tell because they've got the big um, thing on top of the red. This land here. Okay. What a nice noble little area. I think we've pretty much now done this biome. Yeah, I think I'll be building on this biome. So the desert biome, um, this biome, and depending on if, if if we can tame those big crab things on the floating biome. I'd have to have a look and see if there were like any caves on there or anything like that. Nice little island just here. Let's see what's over here, if there's anything over here. More sarcos, I think they are. Yes, they are the sarcos. Just want to see if there's any over. Unique animals over here. I think they're a paras yep, parasols, I think they are. They might be raptors over here. Yes, there's raptors over here. Guanadon are they guanadons? I think they are actually. 
pterodons are over here. There's a load of dodos, a tech dino, big turtles, and that's about it. Right, so I think that is where we'll leave it for today. Um, and in the next video we shall just look in the area that's just got the white, big white patch in it because I think that's where the one that looks like Ghost of Tsushima is. So that is really it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also hit that bell icon for future video updates like this. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.